What's up people, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to face swap um, and just to kind of show you what I mean, I did one earlier so this is a picture of Ant and Deck um, and literally all I've done is, is swap their faces so that's the before and that's the after um, so yeah, as you can see it looks uh, not too fake I guess um, the blending is pretty much spot on but Photoshop does that all for you um, so yeah, you just need to find two images that would kind of match, I guess. Um, so I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial. Um, I've split the image up, so originally they were both stood next to each other. I've split up into two images, so that I only have to do the face swap once, otherwise it would just be repetitive. Um, so once you've got your two images open up in Photoshop, the first thing you're going to do is create a rough selection of, of one of the faces. So in this case, I'm going to be putting... Um, Ant's face onto Dex's body, I guess. Um, so I'm literally just going to grab my uh, polygonal lasso tool and create a really rough selection. You can use any sort of lasso um, that you're you're comfortable with. You could even use the pen tool if you want, and then switch it into a selection. But yeah, I'm going to go with this one and just create a rough selection. But bear in mind, you've got to try and keep it fairly tight to the features so that you don't overrun anything um, so it doesn't need to be a spot on selection as long as you get in that really the eyes the eyebrows the nose and the mouth um, and then I'm gonna click my little arrow tool up here and I'm gonna drag this onto my other tab that I've got up here and put it on there um, now because the the two people Ant and Deck are facing different ways their faces are different ways to the other person so I'm gonna have to spin this one around quick so if I hit edit free transform I can drag this over so that it flips and then by looking up here um, you can see that it's on minus 88 meaning that it's, it's out of proportion so if I just click on that and make sure that it's minus 100 um, and then hit OK that will bring it into proportion so the way I'm going to go about lining it all up is just by dropping the opacity a tad and kind of trying to line it up like that. So as you can see the mouth and that are in dis different places. You're not going to get them spot on but you want to try to get them as close as you can. Um, and that's the same with the eyes and nose. So that looks about right and don't forget to um, adjust your orientation to to match um, and that there looks like it will do I guess I hope <laughs> yeah we'll just we'll go with that and then hit this little arrow up here to apply that so now we're going to want to go about deleting the face away from this image so we're going to create a duplicate of this by clicking on it and hitting control J if you're on a Mac that will be command and J um, and then we're going to head over to this layer, hold control or command and click it so that it brings back up our selection. Um, then we're going to head to select, modify and contract. And contract it by about anywhere between 5 to 10 pixels. So I'm going to go over about 8. Um, your, depending on your image resolution, the amount of pixels you're going to contract by will be different. But it, it really it's not too big of a deal. So yeah. I'm just going to go with a anywhere between 5 and 10 and then hit OK. As you can see that will bring in our selection uh, and we did that because now we're going to head over to our um, original image that we're face swapping and just hit delete so that it deletes the face from that and you get a transparent um, background showing through. Uh, so then we're going to reselect this and we're going to bump our opacity right the way back up um, and as you can see it's quite like there's no white edges if you have any sort of white gap showing through around the selection then you didn't contract the image by enough so just hit control Z a couple of times or control alt and Z a couple of times on your keyboard to bring it back and um, just contract it by more uh, if you don't have any little white edges around your selection then you're all good um, and the next step would be to select both of the um, layers we're working with head up to edit 
and auto blend. Now you're going to want to make sure panorama and seamless tones and colours are both checked and just hit OK and that will literally blend it all for you um, as you can see. So if I hit Control Z that was before the auto blend and that's after and it does a pretty good job to be fair. You might find a couple of outer tone bits around the selection but you could literally just go back in with your spot healing brush tool and um, and clean all that up but as far as this, the face swap goes you are about done the only step left would be to merge them all into one layer by hitting control and E on your two selected layers and that should now be one image so that was before and that's after um, so yeah that was the face swap uh, let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial if you wanted to do the same um, so put Dex face onto Ant's body it would literally just be the same process only in reverse um, so yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like um, that would be appreciated <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next tutorial